Okay, so I've been getting a lot of um, questions on how to clean the fans of their laptops or computers. So I'm going to show several different types and then I'll show how you can clean them. So some of them will require you to take apart the computers and some of them um, you don't really need to take them apart so far. It really depends on the, um, the computer style and how it's built. So a lot of the laptops on the bottom, as you'll see, they have like the vent like this and the fan it vents out towards the back. Um, the design will change with lots of different ones so sometimes they won't have a fan um, vent like this on the bottom and it'll just pull through the sides if that's the case you're gonna have to take the computer apart possibly if you're lucky it might just be under an easy to remove keyboard but this one specifically um, it's it's a little bit nice because you don't have to take it apart so first what you want to do is if you can see all the dust right there you can see there's all these little holes so what you want is you can get like a small little needle. I found like these work really well. Um, I put a bend in it to use for other things, but for cleaning fans, you'd want a straight one, but this is what I have, so I'm gonna use this. So first what you wanna do is you can see in the from the dust where the fan, the circle's like there. So if you look at one of these fans, um, so basically this is inside the laptop. Um, yeah, so what you want to do is essentially get the needle to go between these fins because when you blow air through it, you don't want this thing like spinning super fast through the whole computer because sometimes the dust that gets caught here will be like big chunks and if it flies into there while this is like spinning super fast, depending how the fan is built, you can actually break these fins off. So some of them are like this, as, as you can see. The fins like very thin so if a ball of dust flies in here and it gets caught like in the edge here while it's like turning really fast it can actually rip these off so you don't want to have the fan spinning like that um, so that's why you would use the needle stick it in the hole and make sure that um, while the fan spins it can't like turn super fast so that way the dust will just like get stuck like fly out and then go here um, if you clean it out often then it's not as much of a worry because the dust won't build up so let me show you why the dust builds up so in all the computers essentially what you have is a heat sink some some copper surface like this sometimes aluminum um, and then there'll be like this heat tubing that goes out and it goes into these um, these fins like this which is basically like a radiator um, so what happens is the fan will be like here so the heat tubing um, inside there's like a little vapor with like a vacuum in this tubing so make sure if you if you puncture this or bend it or something you're probably going to want to replace it otherwise it won't transfer heat very well um, but yeah essentially the fan is going to be blowing the air through this um, these fins and over time the lint and stuff just builds up on it so if you've seen like a laundry machine basically it catches all the lint so over time all the lint will just build up here to a point where it's just completely blocks the airflow and usually you can tell your fan will be spinning loud and you won't really feel much air coming out of your laptop or computer so make sure check for that if your airflow is blocked even though the fans like spinning really fast and you don't feel much air then you're gonna have to clean the dust not really the fans but you're, you're gonna have to like find a way to get the dust off this and that's what I'll show you right now with the laptop so I don't really like the air cans they're not really that powerful so what I use is um, this air blower so it's called this sidekick blaster thing let me see if I can show you so basically it's this electric air blower um, it's pretty powerful so you can use like an air compressor or something the air cans aren't really powerful enough if the dust builds up if you do it often enough then it's okay but it's not really that good so this thing like if I were to use this so it's very strong um, so as you can see like I have this so for certain fans if the fan is going bad sometimes the fan won't spin freely like this so if I turn it this fans actually not too good either but um, usually if you spin the fan so you can see how it like wobbles back and forth that means the grease is pretty good 
um, because there's magnets and like a coil of copper wire in there that causes the fan to spin. So when the grease is bad, what happens is the thing can't spin freely. And so normally the magnet, see how it like just wobbles like that back and forth easily? That means it's, it's well lubricated there. So let me see if I have one I can, actually this one I can show you. So on certain fans, um, some aren't designed like that, like this one, I can't pull these fins out. And then um, this is actually one of the worst like unrepairable fans, um, except, except at least this is plastic. So sometimes what I have to do is drill a hole through the back of this plastic in the center and you can add oil there. So I'll show you how to do that in a bit. Um, but this one, like you can actually pull the fins off and as you can see, you can see the little, the, the shaft there, it's kind of focused, there you go. So you can see the shaft there and basically that goes into this, which usually will be like a bearing. And, um, when the grease gets bad, usually from high humidity, it'll cause the grease to get like gunky really fast or if it gets really dusty or sometimes even smoke from like incense or just cooking if you're cooking lots of like greasy stuff um, then basically what happens is the grease will start getting all gunky like gooey I don't know if you've ever had like a bottle of oil and then around the edges eventually it turns like very like sticky and gooey um, that's what happens with the fans over time the grease just gets bad so what you do is um, I use rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and then make sure it's not like dripping too much well if you're cleaning this it's okay as long as you dry it after but wipe that off all the old gunky grease and if you can kind of like wipe in here and then what I do is I'll take this Synthetic oil probably will work best. I don't know if they have specific oil for fans, but this is cheap and it works. So what I do is um, I just tilt this, touch the oil onto the, the needle, and it'll form like a little droplet. Um, and then basically you just grab the droplet and then drip it into the hole. And, um, and then after you do that, just put the fan back, twirl it around, um, make sure it's like spinning freely. Um, and then after you get it spinning freely, open it, clean it out again, and then put another drop of clean oil. And that should get it like well lubricated so the fan works again. So that's one way to get the fan fixed instead of just replacing the fan because essentially it, the fan's not really broken, it's just the grease is bad. So for this type of fan, there's actually like some screws holding it, and then there'll be like these little clips on the back. So you might have to use like a little pry tool or something if your nails can't get it but sometimes you have to like bend these out if you bend them out make sure just bend it back before you like push it back over it has like a little um i don't know what you would call that like a clip kind of thing but yeah basically you would clip that back on and then put the screws when you're done okay so that's this type of fan um and this type of fan also some of them they don't have the fins that are removable and then to make it worse they put like a metal thing on the back um, you can sometimes drill through this but it's more difficult so if you can't drill through this and the um, and this piece um, can't be removed then you're usually gonna have to replace the fan so usually just check for like the model number of the fan it'll be on a sticker like this and yeah or you can sometimes look up for the mo your laptop or computer model and they'll have a specific one um, these desktop fans are very interchangeable. You just need the right size that'll fit on your tower. They'll have like all these different like 180 mil or 120 millimeter, 140 millimeter, 80 millimeter. They have like all different sizes. So if you replace these kinds of fans, just make sure you get that. Um, a lot of the desktop fans will be a lot easier. So when you take this out, there'll usually be a rubber cover, but some of them will be like this bad design where they kind of just seal it with plastic or a metal thing. But usually what you do is you'll take the needle and then just go on the edge and pry this rubber piece up. Once you do that, um, the needle method will kind of take a while because as you can see, there's like a really deep groove in here. So it can take a lot of oil. So yeah, so usually you can, if you have like a syringe, you can use a syringe. If not, you can use the oil method with the needle. It'll just have to drip a lot more. Um, and then once you do that, just close this up. Um, I like to grab the fan and wiggle it like this and spin it. Try and keep it so that the oil stays down. Don't like flip it upside down like that or the oil will trip 
to the top but yeah just wiggle it like this spin it around and the oil will get in there okay so yeah so pretty much that's how you do that um, if you get a lot of oil like outside you'll want to clean it with rubbing alcohol and paper towels and then after that if the sticker is no longer sticking you can just get like some tape and stick the tape over just to make sure that the oil doesn't leak out everywhere um, but that's how you would fix this fan um, and then if the fan fins are all dusty like this one I usually just use like a toothbrush like that so I'll hold this lightly so that way when I wipe it when I brush it it actually turns the fan too right and then like for the fins you can actually like get in with the toothbrush and clean it depending how clean you want it I mean it's gonna get all dusty again real soon so usually you don't have to bother with all that I just use so yeah, usually I don't really bother too much with the brush. I'll just use a strong blower like that and then just, just do that, okay? And if you want to be safe um, to not like damage it or not risk hurting your fingers because sometimes it'll be spinning really fast and you accidentally touch the blades, what you can do is just put your fingers already like holding the blade so it doesn't spin and then just blow it. Uh, most desktop fans you can actually leave it on the desktop and then just blow the air through it and it'll be okay um, You blow it the opposite direction that the fan normally turns so for most fans um, On the at least on so on the desktop fans when you see like this bracket holding the motor here So this side it's bare, but when you see this piece holding the motor That's usually the way the air will blow so it'll blow out out this bracket. So out this way, okay? So that's how you know the direction of flow for the air when there's no like arrows. Um, but if you want to be sure, you can just plug it in and see which way it blows. Um, the laptop fans, uh, I don't know if there's a specific way, but I'm assuming it might blow the same way. A lot of the fans actually, they're not tilted as you see. So actually the air just blows out this way. So air that goes into here, it just, when it spins, it just pushes it out this, this way. Okay. So most laptops won't have the, the tilted blades like this. It'll actually be sideways like this. Though some models vary depending how they decided to design it. Okay, so now you see there's some, they'll have like a metal cover on the back or a plastic cover on the back. Um, some laptop fans will actually even have like a removable thing just like how this one had the removable rubber. So those designs are the best um, because then you don't have to take the whole fan apart like how I, I had to take apart this one but yeah so some of them you don't have to take this whole thing apart and you can just drip the oil through the back um, though this one is a good design for cleaning um, I think usually I'll see these get bad quicker just because it's like easy open access for the dust and things to get in but um, yeah at least these are like nice for cleaning and repairing okay now let me show the laptop so yeah oil I'll use oil um, synthetic oil works better but um yeah and then the needle of course the air blower okay so they do have a cheaper version this is designed actually for drying motorcycles and usually it comes with a very short cord I actually added like a longer extension to it um, but yeah so this one, it's by Metrovac. They have another one called DataVac, I believe, which is like green and white. Um, so these work a lot better. I don't like the cans. The cans, they're kind of expensive and they don't last very long and they don't do a very good job. Like this one, it's so strong that you see this bottle of oil. So it's, it's very good for cleaning out the fans and everything like that. So again, as I was, as I was saying, you have like the... Um, the heat sink like this so basically if you can take out the fan that's the best way and then you can just blow the air like that just blow the air through and all the dust will just fly off if there's stubborn dust I usually just brush it like this just to loosen it up and then when you blow it it'll just wash right off it'll get all the dust off okay so for the laptop I'll show this one there's so many styles of laptop so I'm just gonna show this one um, but as I was saying a long back, um, basically you just stick the needle in where you see the fan. Usually if you see like the circle, it, you'll have to stick the, the needle in like closer to the outside. So let me see if I can get that. 
see okay so now the needles like in there so if I blow this um, to be safe you can start with the air if you're using a powerful air blower like this one you can start further back so that way the air is not too powerful and then slowly move it closer once you know so usually what I do is I'll hold hold the needle and then you can feel that the fan uh, fins are actually touching hitting the needle and that's how you know sorry someone called and then it just shut off my recording but anyways so what you do is make sure you get the needle and then you hold it here so when you blow the air you can actually feel that the fan is like hitting it and you just do it like this Okay, so as you can see, after I blew that all out, so now you can actually see all the air holes, um, but there's still dust stuck on this um, kind of mesh because the air can't really flow around the mesh, so it's just stuck on the outside. So what you do with that is you just take the brush, do that, all right. And then once you make sure that um, you've already gotten it out, you can do it without the needle, but start from far back. Okay, so just like that. So now you can see the fan is actually all clean. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, the safest way, if you can, take the fan out of the computer, but if you can't or you're being lazy, yeah, use a needle, hold that in place, and then blow that with that. If you use the air cans, make sure you don't hold the can upside down and make sure not to use it too long in one place because if you do, um, it'll, it gets really cold and the cold air, like the cold surface that it causes, it can create condensation and then it'll get water droplets inside your computer and that can actually kill your computer. So that's one of the big reasons I don't use those um, compressed air cans because it can actually cause like liquid damage inside your computer. Um, but that's pretty much it. Hope this helped. Uh, thanks for watching. If it helped you, um, please help me out by liking and subscribing and I'll see you in another video. Bye. Oh, here's one other fan type I forgot to mention earlier. Um, but it's like the one with the screws and the latches. The only difference is um, they melt these little plastic bits on. So you won't know if the... You can check the bottom first to see if they sealed it with metal or plastic. Um, but you won't know if the fins are removable until you cut these off. And then pull this metal plate up. And then see if you can pull the fins up. But usually what I do is I'll use like a razor blade and just slide it between the plastic and this. And then cut them off or you can even sometimes get the razor blade under and then just pry it up um, but I don't need to do that with this fan this is for a customer's computer I'm working on right now so I'm not gonna cut it up if I don't have to but yeah basically you cut these little plastic bits off and then after that you can remove the this metal plate just like on the one with the screws um, and then just do the same stuff like the other one. Check if you can check this first underneath the sticker to see if there's anything removable. If not, then yeah, cut these off and then see if you can pull the fins off. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Bye.